What's going on, guys? This is Tom the eGamer back again with another video on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the family abilities and attributes. The family attributes fall into three categories, savagery, harvesting, and endurance. These attributes differ depending on the family member you are playing as and can be tuned to your liking by unlocking attribute points within the skill tree and assigning them to one of three categories. On top of attribute points, certain perks within the skill tree would also, will also buff an attribute category by equipping it. But more, more on perks once we cover the full metagame. For now, let's talk about the three, the main three attribute categories. The first one is savagery. This attribute directly affects the amount of damage you deal with melee hits, but should not be seen as simple strength. Think of savagery as a proficiency level for killing in game used in conjunction with endurance as a way to determine the full potential for damage dealt. Harvesting. Harvesting affects the amount of blood you can gain you gain for grandpa when interacting with victims. It does not, however, affect the amount of blood gained from buckets around the map. Melee hits, grapples with victims, and executions are the specific interactions that can fill your blood vial dependent on your harvesting stat. Endurance, similar to the victim's attributes, attribute, endurance affects the stamina drain and recharge rate on the family side. However, melee strikes also drain stamina, make, making the endurance attribute important for dealing damage as well as mobility. Now I want to go into the individual abilities for the, the actual individual's family members. The cook, his biggest, his best attribute is to seek so he can hear he can hear victims and alert Leatherface, the hitchhiker, Johnny and Sissy to wherever the victims are. So the seek ability allows the cook to lean in and listen carefully to any any strange sounds he might hear around the map. If a sound is detected, he can focus in on it, revealing the location of the victim unfortunate enough to be making the most noise. The next one is Sissy. Bang. Sissy picked up some unique skills in her travels, like her Bane ability. Craft poisons from local plants, then blow the powder in the faces of victims or use them to contaminate items around the map. The Hitchhiker is really good with traps. So the Hitchhiker is handy with the pile of bones and his trap ability is an extension of that. The Macabre, Mac, Macabre artist can place traps around the map that alert him when an unsuspecting victim steps in. Johnny, Johnny's biggest attributes, or best attribute is his hunting ability. Johnny is a stalker, a predator, and like any true predator, he's a skilled hunter. His hunt ability allows him to see and track the fresh footsteps of victims around the map. And then of course we have Leatherface. His best ability is the main maim ability. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Leatherface carries the saw. The saw is the main ability. He can utilize it in a variety of ways, not least of which is to dismember any victims he might get his hands on. These family members can, can all be tuned up further in the metagame, and each ability has its own breakdown, breakout tree within the greater skill tree, where players can customize aspects like cooldown, usage, etc. More on that as, as well as perks and how they intersect with abilities and attributes in the full metagame breakdown still to come. But we aren't quite done here yet. Each family also has additional unique characteristics that don't necessarily function quite the same as their abilities, but are more just a part of who they are. Cook, he can add additional locks to doors around the map, starting the match off with three in his inventory. These locks can be removed and added back to his inventory should he choose to relo relocate one of them. The cook can also close crawl spaces, causing victims to need to reopen them quietly. Sissy, Sissy is light on her feet, similar to the hitchhiker, but also crafty, sneaky, and sinister. Because of this, not only can she traverse through gaps and crawl spaces, she can also utilize hiding spots to get the jump on victims. The hitchhiker, he is a slippery one, and his traversal is a perfect example of that. He can play as a persistent pursuer that is tough to shake off, chasing victims through gaps and crawl spaces. His high endurance marks 
means he's swiping at you relentlessly while doing so. Johnny, aside from being able to actually trap you, track you through the map, Johnny can also put his frame to work for him by being able to instantly barge doors as well as close crawl spaces in game. His hits are also concussive, delivering an extra layer of, of disorientation on, the, on attack to helpless victims. Leatherface, the destructive type, Leatherface can destroy crawl spaces, barricades, and doors. Barricades being one of the few items that can give victims a bit of separation from the more nimble family members like Sissy and the Hitchhiker. This destructive option changes the routes present in in the map each match. I'm very excited for this game to come out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification to stay update, updated with my videos. And if you're interested, watch this video that's popping up right now.